Hi, I'm Ron Cottingham, President of PORAC, the Peace Officers Research Association of California, and welcome back to another edition of PORAC TV. Today we have a couple of very special guests with us. We have Daphne Fung, who is the Executive Director of California Against Sex Trafficking, and also joining us is Chris Kelly, uh, former attorney for Facebook and former candidate for Attorney General in California. So today we want to talk about this initiative and get you, give you a little bit better information about what's going on, what you can do to support this, and the importance of, of having an initiative that will enable us to combat sex crimes and sex trafficking much better in the state of California. Um, Daphne, go ahead and tell us a little bit about the initiative and, and what it does. Sure. So the initiative is called Californians Against Sexual Exploitation, or the CASE Act. And what it does is it's putting heavier penalties and fines on uh, human traffickers and put more protection in place for, our, uh, for people against online predators. And there, there are a couple of provisions in their initiative. And the first thing is, you know, like I said, increasing penalties and increasing fines. And the fines will go to help victims recover. And uh, in addition to that, it will help, uh, it would also mandate law enforcement training, as well as put sex traffickers on the sex uh, offender registration. And uh, it would also remove the need to show force when minors are being trafficked for sex. And this is a huge deal because right now in the state of California, we still have to prove that a minor is being forced into b being sold. And uh, it's, it's very misaligned with the federal standard of what uh, sex trafficking is. And also, in addition to that, it would also require that all sex offenders register, as, uh, register their online account. And this is something that Chris has worked on a lot. And it's, uh, you know, as you know, the in internet has become a, 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 a avenue for many of these offenses today. And I'll let Chris talk a little bit more about that. Yeah, in particular, the, the enhancement of the reporting requirements, bringing mm -hmm. Megan's Law into the digital age is one of the things that I think the Act will you know, do the, that makes a big difference. I was able to work on this with uh, Andrew Cuomo when he was Attorney General of New York to get it through the New York legislature and implemented um, uh, having all sex offenders report their internet accounts. And it's resulted in the removal of more than 25,000 convicted New York sex offenders from social networks. Um, it's been a very, very positive step forward in internet safety. Um, it was one of the, the things that, that when I was still at Facebook, I proposed to the National Association of Attorneys General in 2007. Um, we were able to get implemented there. We haven't been able to get it implemented yet here in California, but it, it'll be a major step forward. Okay. What have been the uh, the roadblocks in California to implement it uh, that has kind of forced you to go to the initiative method to try to get this law passed? Yeah, both Chris and I have worked extensively in trying to lobby for stronger laws on human trafficking and online online predators. What we've the roadblocks are first of all because uh, of the the budget and the prison com uh, controversies. There's a lot of reluctance in uh, in passing any laws with increased sentencing, and, but we know that this is really important and that we have to do something about it because across the state, all law enforcement have consistently told us that local gangs are moving from selling drugs to selling girls because there is so much money involved and none of the risk associated with the, the horrible crime that they're engaged in. Uh, um, so the profit margin now for trafficking in young girls and women is, is uh, much larger than trafficking in uh, drugs and narcotics. Absolutely. I mean, if you sell, if you sell an ounce of drugs, you've got to replace that ounce. But if you sell a girl, you can sell her over and over again. And there's very, the overhead is almost minimum for them. Right? And, and the control factor, um, by essentially threatening these girls, they're able to, to maintain that control while selling them over and over and over again. It's a, it's a, a frightening development um, that we need to fight by both addressing the economic root of the crime, by increasing the fines and, and penalties, but also by requiring all of these people to register as sex offenders and say that there's a permanent um, consequence to this as well. Um, not just the prison time, not just the increased fines, but also you will, for the rest of your life, be a sex offender. Absolutely. Now, the, uh, my understanding from uh, going to some of the, the, the classes that are available on this is that these traffickers sometimes like to move the women and the girls around if they think they're getting known. And uh, I believe that there's three of the top ten cities in the United States for trafficking are in California, is that correct? 
Yes, according to the FBI report, they identified Los Angeles, San Diego, and San Francisco as what they call high intensity child prostitution areas in the country. And it's definitely very appalling that in the progressive state like California, we're allowing this to happen and to be flourishing. That's why we really have to take a strong stand against this. And you know, one of the most, one of the major, major uh, uh, benefit from going through the initiative process is also the awareness factor, because you know we we have we still have a lack of awareness, and that's our biggest challenge in this campaign is that there's a, such a lack of awareness that this can happen here, but there are actually children being sold for sex in our country, in our state, and uh, to be able to have the initiative bring that awareness is so important. We, we've already given the chance for hundreds of thousands of Californians to sign their name to the petitions and to stand with the victims of sex trafficking. Um, we want that opportunity, and we'll get that opportunity, given how the signature process is going, to allow millions of Californians to stand with these victims uh, come November. That'd be fantastic, because uh, I know, I mean, from my career in law enforcement, I, I've seen a couple of sides of this, and you're, the aspect of training in this, I think, is very important, and you talk about awareness. And what is, uh, should be noted and noted to the viewers is we have a lack of awareness in law enforcement itself, where I know from years ago and even currently, sometimes we see a young juvenile girl on the streets after hours uh, in a place of, of ill repute. And we believe that they are a runaway and we believe that they are a prostitute. And we basically make them a victim. No, I'm sorry, we basically make them a suspect and we're arresting them when actually what we find out later is they have been victimized horrendously by these, uh, by these, these pimps and, and panderers that, that, that do nothing but use them for their own purposes. So, so that's a very good aspect of this, this whole thing is, is getting better training and awareness. Uh, Absolutely. Are there, the, the signature uh, petitions are out on the street? Absolutely. Okay, and they're throughout California? Okay. Now, is there a place where somebody can go, I guess you cannot go on, can you go online and download a p petition if you wanted to, say, circulate it in your, in your neighborhood or, or in some club you belong to? Is uh, that available? You can, actually. Yeah, at yeah. ksac.org, um, there's an easy download process, and you have to sign up as a circulator, and then you circulate it in your neighborhood, in your household, with registered California voters, and you can return it to, to us at the address provided. Okay, so case act is C A S E act dot org. org. All one word. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Well, very good. Do that. I know PORAC is a supporter and a sponsor of this initiative. We're trying to get all our affiliate organizations to support this initiative also, and that's what's going to going to take to get it basically uh, across the finish line and, and have new laws in California. Absolutely. Thank you. We really appreciate the support. We're excited to being to be working with you on this important oh. initiative. We're very happy to be partners in this.